Hey guys, welcome to the Stand Up Review Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're reviewing Angela Johnson's 2015 special, Not Fancy. Let's get into it. This podcast is brought to you by our patrons. If you want to help support the podcast, then head on over to patreon.com slash standupreview. With tiers starting at as little as £1, there are some great benefits, such as voting for which specials you want reviewed, Q&As, bloopers, early access to podcasts, exclusive podcasts and many more. Sign up at patreon.com slash standupreview and thank you for your support. A little bit of background on Angela Johnson. She's an actress and a YouTuber. This is her third and latest stand-up special. I hadn't heard of her or seen any of her shows before I looked at her to do this podcast, but I thought why not give her a go. Her style is observational comedy, there's a little bit of storytelling and some performance throughout the show. At the opening of the show, Angela receives a huge stunning innovation. She gives a little bit of an introduction, but it doesn't go on for too long. And it just kind of warms the crowd up. In the first major bit, she talks about how not fancy she is. She tells a couple of little stories. They're all quite funny, none of them go on for too long. In particular, she talks about Liam Neeson in Taken. And she's got some really good jokes in this bit. It feels like there's probably a little bit more to get out of it. But she leaves it in a good place and perhaps didn't want to take it too long. She then talks a little bit about travelling, where she creates a scenario and she plays off it really well. There are some really funny scenarios in there, she does a few different ones. And she'll shoot off a few times with a couple of different stories, but this is a really well done bit. There are some really good bait and switch moments. And in general, the way she formats this bit and plays around with it a lot, it's a really good part of the show. She kind of then leads into talking about an 11 hour train journey. She tells the story of the journey and it's really well written and really well told. And even as she's kind of performing parts of the journey, it's really well done. And again, the start of this show is really strong. Afterwards, she goes on to talk about Christians. She tells a Christian joke, which is actually really good, which is kind of saying that's not her style of comedy. But it's, she does it really well for this one joke. And she kind of generally talks about how she's not a typical Christian. It's not so much jokes here. She's kind of just talking about it. And it's not as funny as I'd like it to be. Within the same kind of bit, she talks about Latino churches and she kind of mimics what it's like in a Latino church. I, I don't really find it funny. I don't know if I just don't understand it enough, but she lost me a little bit in this bit. In the next bit, she talks about her husband a little bit and there's not really that many jokes in this bit. They're kind of just generic statements she's making. There's a couple of good jokes in there, but it's like I said, it's more just generic things or little stories. There's not really any what you'd call jokes or things to laugh at in this bit. Although one of the bits she talks about is about her husband having kidney stones and she's got a really great story here and branches off it with some really good jokes. And at this bit, I'm just sort of thinking that she's got real good ability of writing jokes, but there are also times where she's just not telling any jokes at all. After which she goes on to talk about healthcare and she creates a little scenario and it is quite funny, but it just goes on for way too long and it feels like she's trying to get way too much out of this bit. If she had cut it a bit shorter, it could have been really good, but it's just too much. She then goes on to discuss different types of Latinos. There are some good jokes in here, but a lot of them really aren't that great. A lot of the jokes in this show seem to either be really, really good or just really, really bad. And obviously that's subjective, but a lot of this show just really isn't for me. And it seems like when she's good, she's brilliant, but she can't keep that up all the time. Kind of as a part of this bit, she makes a beat out of mimicking Spanish phrases from Rosetta Stone. Now this bit is really, really good. It's really well done. It doesn't seem gimmicky or cheap in any way. It's just really funny. She doesn't keep it going for too long. It feels like there's maybe a little bit more to get out of it, but also the fact that she cuts it short kind of means that she definitely doesn't overdo it. So I can appreciate that she keep cuts it where she does. She then kind of changes the tone a little bit. She goes on to talk about kids and this is a really good bit. There are some really good stories in there and some really good jokes coming off those stories. It's a really strong bit. And then she goes on to talk about her in-laws. This is quite good. There are some quite fun stories, but again, there's a real split between the good jokes and parts that just weren't funny at all and you just kind of get drawn into the show and then push straight back out of it. Afterwards, she talks about getting older, and this is a really funny bit, one of the better bits of the show, in my opinion. It's mostly sort of short jokes, a little bit different from the rest of the show in that sense, but they're really well told and really well written. 
She talks a little bit about jury duty. She tells the story of her time on jury duty. This is really funny, but she just doesn't get to the point quick enough. She spends a lot of time sort of exaggerating a point or building up to a point. It really should have been a much shorter bit, but she manages to pull you back in with a funny joke and keep your interest every time you're sort of starting to lose it. And this could probably have been one of the better bits of the show if she didn't spend so much time on it. In the next bit, she talks about law and order. And this is a little bit of a weird one because it wasn't really for me. I could appreciate the quality of the jokes. And even though I didn't really find it funny, I can see how people would. There's also a chance here that I've been worn down by the rest of the show, because at this point of watching, I was kind of just waiting for it to be over. Like I said, the jokes weren't necessarily for me, but I could tell they were well written and that they were funny to a certain audience, and the audience themselves were laughing at parts, although I'll get on to the why that didn't necessarily mean anything in a little bit. The best part of this bit was she discussed what she would be like as a police dispatcher, uh, and she did us a really funny role play. It's a really great part of the bit. The next bit of the show, she talks about getting her nails done and this gets a huge audience reaction and basically she explains that it's a bit that she went viral for before. I hadn't heard it. She basically talks about what it's been like going to nail salons since that bit came out and it's quite funny. It's hard to get certain parts without having seen it but even if you haven't seen it the basic premise is fairly obvious and it's still quite funny in bits and I actually think I would have found this a lot funnier had I seen the original bit but that's not her fault that's my fault for not having seen it. This then leads into the end of the show where she talks about putting too much chilli on food as a kid. I really didn't find this funny at all. It had some cultural references that I just might not have understood but the parts that I could understand just weren't funny. It was quite a bad way to end the show for me. The audience didn't really react to the closing joke. They seemed to enjoy the closing bit in general, so it's hard to say how much of it was me not understanding it. But in my opinion, it was a really bad way to end the show. A few extra things to mention. The transitions in the show were really good. There was a natural transition between bits, and she was very good at putting in a joke that linked the two bits together so that a lot of the times you wouldn't even realise she was moving on to the next bit. In terms of her stage persona, she's very self-assured, very confident. She's also very bubbly and positive, and can be quite in your face at times, but it's a very clear and defined character. As far as the audience goes, they really over laugh at parts and they clap way too much at certain bits. It's obvious that she's built an audience of her own, but at times they're just laughing way too much at parts that just aren't that funny and it feels a little bit like a cult at certain times because she gets huge laughs at parts that just aren't that good or seem to be in the middle of a joke at times. It's very off-putting as you're watching to hear these huge laughs when you're not laughing. Maybe it's just because I didn't find bits funny but some of the parts were just way over the top. So overall, this may be a little bit obvious, but this show really isn't for me. And that's fine, I'm not her audience. She's clearly got plenty of people who love what she does. And some parts of the show are great, but at times there's way too much set up around the jokes and way too many theatrics that just don't add anything to the show. She can clearly write some really good material, but there were massive portions of the show that I just didn't enjoy. By the halfway point of the show, I was just waiting for it to end and I won't be watching her again unless you guys want me to review another of her specials. But I simply couldn't recommend this show to anyone. So for that reason, I have to give it a two out of 10. Sorry, Angela. Thanks for listening to the Stand Up Review Podcast. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to subscribe to get new episodes as soon as they come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Check out our Patreon for some awesome benefits at patreon.com slash standupreview. If you have any thoughts or suggestions for the show, whether it be a new segment or a show you'd like us to review, let us know on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at standupreview, and give us a follow while you're over there. Feel free to share this or any of our other podcasts on any social media platform. Have a great day, and we'll see you for the next episode.